Welcome back. Well, the interaction between Russian and African entrepreneurs came under the spotlight at the Russia GGDA breakfast session this week. And Muzi Matema from the GGDA takes us through how things played out. Some of the key points that were raised in today's discussion are really ways in which uh, we as a gateway province can unlock uh, opportunities for enterprises uh, with, through the Russian Trade Office to attend the Russian uh, Africa Trade Summit, but most importantly to deepen trade and investment relationships between uh, Africa and the Russian Federation. Um, and what sort of results have been yielded from Russia and Africa relations thus far? Uh, whilst we as a GGD have a particular focus on Gauteng, um, during discussions it became clear that uh, trade and investment has been much lower as you would expect between two BRICS countries. As such, I think the Russian uh, Embassy and the Russian Federation have taken the initiative to deepen trade and investment ties between uh, Russia and Africa through the upcoming Russia and Africa Summit. Uh, we played a critical role with the Russian Embassy in uh, unlocking this event to allow Gauteng based enterprises to interact with the Russia trade desk to better understand uh, what exactly exist in Russia and what opportunities the Russian market has appetite for, particularly for hunting enterprises. And one of the main points of this engagement is to attract more investments in SA from Russia. Uh, what were the key selling points does the GD, GGDA use to position SA in a better investment opportunity for the country? So the GGDA is basically the province's economic development and investment promotion agency. So particularly what we do is we really position and posture the advantages that the province that has uh, to offer incoming investors. We do this through a various spectrum of initiatives. So in our toolkit, for example, we have an investor servicing one-stop shop whose main purpose is really to accelerate the ease of doing business for any investor that comes into Within our subsidiaries also, we also have various incubation and skills development programs that assist uh, the depending of value chains in, speci in, in specific uh, uh, sectors uh, which we are focused on as a provincial government. And just lastly, uh, what does this relationship translate to the rest of Africa? As a gateway province, as also at the dawn of the new free trade intercontinental agreement, we believe that this, rela this relationship basically is the beginning of uh, deepening trade and investment ties between Africa and, uh, the, and the Russian Federation. That was Muzi Matema, Group Executive of the GGDA. Now, the first uh, Russia-Africa summit scheduled for October is expected to enhance mutual multifaceted ties, reshape diplomatic relationships, and significantly roll out ways to increase effectiveness of cooperation between Russia and Africa. But what kind of investment opportunity is South Africa showcasing right now? And is it piquing interest? Vladimir Emma from the Russia Trade Office tells us more. There are a lot of investment opportunities across the variety of sectors and I believe that since South Africa is as a developed financial market, um, there are many other opportunities to follow. And what are some of the key drivers of investment from the sectors discussed today? Well, we've seen many requests from a variety of sectors including agro-processing, manufacturing, oil and gas and a lot of people from South Africa want to partner with uh, the Russian side and to establish joint ventures. There was also a discussion on the legal requirements for investing in Russia. What are some of the important factors that South Africans would need to consider in this regard? Well, I believe the biggest challenge, challenge is the traveling to Russia because it takes more than 16 hours. As for the rest, we have uh, many entities that operate as a one-stop shop and they are able to assist investors with any problems that they might experience. And lastly, this breakfast is a build-up to the Russia-Africa Summit in October in Sochi, Russia. What sort of discussions can be expected from that summit? Well, uh, there will be several tracks. First one is political and second one is economic. So on the, econo on the political track, I believe a lot of discussions will be devoted to the African continental free trade area. And I believe since uh, South Africa is a partner of Russia in BRICS, a lot will be devoted to the BRICS cooperation, finding ways of uh, deepening cooperation within the BRICS Plus format. And uh, South Africa will also be chairing the African Union next year. And Russia wants to be part of the African Free Trade Agreement. 
So I believe these are the major issues that will be discussed. As for the economic side, we want to boost the trade turn turnover with African countries. And we also want to make sure that we increase the share of value added products. And the, generally the aim of the summit is to upgrade the level of relationship between uh, Russia and African countries to a quality new level. That was Vladimir Emma from the Russia Trade Office. And that's where we leave things with you for this week's show. From me, Alicia Sekum, and the rest of the team, it's goodbye.